Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. On today's video I'm going to show you how I created this everyday makeup look. It was inspired by Kylie Jenner as she posted this photo just after Christmas and I really do like her makeup in this picture. It's really really minimalistic and it is perfect for the everyday kind of look and um, I didn't go too too heavy on the skin and everything is really just really really minimalistic of course for some people this might be a lot of makeup but for others it might be hardly any makeup at all so it really just depends on what you like so if you'd like to see how I created this look then please stay tuned so I have already prepped and primed my face so now I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear foundation in the shade NC15 and I'm just going to buff this all into my face. Once I've done this step, I'm then going to just pat my beauty blender all around my face to really smooth out my skin. Now taking my favourite concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light, I'm just going to conceal under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my upper lip and chin, basically just any areas that I really want to highlight. Then I'm just going to blend that all in with my beauty blender. And to set all of that I'm just going to use my Rimmel Clear Complexion Powder in the shade Translucent. For contour I'm going to use the Too Faced Coco Contour Kit as I don't usually use a really heavy contour during the day. So I am go just for powder and this is the one I reach out for a lot. So I'm just going to contour the areas that I normally contour. Then going in with this really peachy nudie blush by Revolution Makeup. And I'm just going to brush that across my cheeks. And this Effect Cosmetics highlighter. I can't remember what colour this is but I will leave it in the description. As for brows in the photo, Kylie has a really fluffy brow. So I'm just going to go in with this NYX micro brow pencil in the shade chocolate and I'm really just going to do light hair strokes and blend it out with the spoolie that's on the end of the pencil. And to make sure that my brow hairs stay in place I'm then just going to take this Maybelline brow gel and just really brush it through my eyebrows. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to prime or prep my eyelids with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and then I'm really just going to pack it all out and make sure that it's a nice clean uniform base. First I'm going to take the shade Peaches and Cream to really just set that concealer that we have just used so I'm just going to use a fluffy brush to apply this. Then I'm just going to take the shade White Peach to highlight the brow bone. Moving on to our crease area, I'm going to take the shade Puree to really work into our crease. Kylie in the photo has a really warm and very simple eyeshadow look so I thought that these colours in this palette would be perfect for that. To add a bit more depth in this look I'm now going to take the shade Summer Yum and place that slightly below that puree shade we have already used. For the lid I'm just going to take the colour Luscious and apply this by packing it onto the lid and then I will just blend it into the crease. Mm -hmm. 
I'm then going to take the shade Puree again and just really blend this under my lower lash line and then taking the shade Summer Yum on a smaller brush, apply that even closer to the lashes and then I'm just going to line my waterline with this Nude Pencil by Rimmel. To highlight the inner corner I'm going to go for Nectar which is a goldy colour and Kylie also wears this sort of colour in the photo. To add a bit more definition to our upper lash line I'm going to use the shade Tempting I'm really just going to blend this as close to the lash line as possible. This is just going to make our lashes look slightly fuller. As for this look, I'm not going to be using false lashes as I don't normally wear them on a daily basis. Then I'm just going to apply some mascara and the eyes are done. As for the lips, I decided to use a colour that's got a little bit more pink in it than the one that Kylie is using. But this is just the shade Clueless from Colourpop Cosmetics. I'm then going to go ahead and add a bit of gloss to my lips to give it an extra shine and I'm using one of the new Kiko lip glosses and they are amazing. And this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my uploads. Thank you for watching and see you next time.